Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tony Frank. In 2022, this is the most of today's English language transition for Captain from Anchor Nine Nation Bank, between 1230 and 1330 UTC, and 1545 Anchor Hearts, 2 Euros. You can control for 3 Eyes and 4 A's of the lights and open up. You are through the voice of 2K link. Our email address is englishdesk at crt.net.cr. Quarantine news and we watch to express the voice of 2K represent our future program and some beautiful Turkish music. President Erdogan had the aggressive defense of Armenia and past consequences. President Erdogan has led for Samarkand in the system at the invitation of Uzbek President to attend the 22nd Summit of the Head of State of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And Iran has become a full member of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And now the details of the news. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said the aggressive stance of Armenia will have consequences. Speaking at an opening ceremony at the capital Ankara, President Erdogan touched upon the struggle of broader the state of Azerbaijan to defend its land, wishing God's mercy upon the fallen soldiers of Azerbaijan, Erdogan said, we find it unacceptable that Armenia violated the settlement reached after the war of 2020. As always, the whole world should know that we stand by our Azerbaijani brothers. Of course, the aggressive attitude that they display will have consequences for the Armenian side, which not only doesn't fulfill conditions of the agreement signed after the Karabakh war, but also constantly exhibits aggressive attitudes. Our hope is that Armenia turns from this wrong path as soon as possible, quickly fulfills the terms of the agreement and uses its time and energy to strengthen peace. Meanwhile, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has left for Samarkand, Uzbekistan, at the invitation of Uzbek President Shavkat Mirziyoyev to attend the 22nd Summit of the Hands of State of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization as a special guest. A statement by Turkey's Communications Directorate said Erdogan claimed participation at the summit in Uzbekistan will be the first at the presidential level since 2012, when Turkey was granted the dialogue partner status as the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. President Erdogan is expected to deliver the keynote speech at the summit on September 16 and hold bilateral meetings on the sidelines of the event. In the meantime, Iran has become a full member of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian announced on his social media account that they signed a memorandum of understanding with Zhang Ming, the organization's Secretary General for full membership in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Amir Abdullahian of Iran noted that relations with the Shanghai Cooperation Organization member countries have thus entered a new stage. It has been an important development in terms of developing cooperation in many areas, from energy to economy and trade. We are now at a new stage in cooperation, he said. 
The organization was established in 1996 when representatives of China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan met in Shanghai, China, and signed the agreement on strengthening military confidence in both areas. With the addition of Uzbekistan, Pakistan, and India, the number of crew members increased to eight. Iran, which joined the Shanghai Cooperation Organization as an observer member in 2005, launched its its commemorative site in September 2021. Turkey is a dialogue partner in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. continues on the English language broadcast of the Voice of Turkey. The Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus has re reacted to the Greek Cypriot administration on Southern Cyprus defense officers' statements that they aim to expel the Turkish Cypriots from their cities and villages. In a written statement, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus Foreign Affairs Ministry said the Greek Cypriot Defense Minister openly said at an event that he considers Cyprus a Hellenic island, quote unquote, and that they aim to expel the Turkish Cypriots from their cities and villages. The statement underlined that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is acting on the basis of the principle of good neighborliness to establish a constructive cooperation relationship between the two sovereign and equal states. While the Greek Cypriot side has recently accelerated their efforts to turn the island into an arms depot. The Greek Cypriot administration, which wants to cover up its armament efforts, is trying to put the blame of the tension on the island and its surroundings to motherland Turkey with baseless allegations. It is seen that the Greek Cypriot administration has signed an agreement with France for the sale of attack helicopters and has increased its efforts to procure missile systems, radar systems and other military equipment. In addition to supplying weapons and increasing military exercises in the recent period, the Greek Cypriot Ministry of Defense and the Greek Army, which have even made Greek clergy practice shooting, continue to deploy heavy weapons in the positions along the border on the island. Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus Foreign Ministry statement added. Emphasizing that the Greek Cypriot administration continues to rise with its armament activities. The statement added that it is obvious that this attitude of the Greek Cypriot is the only reason for the escalation of tension on and around the island. We have a policy that we carry out to ensure a good, neighborly and peaceful environment. However, in the face of the Greek Cypriot administration's threat, we remind once again that we'll, we will never give up our determination to protect our rights and interests with our homeland, Turkey. 